Everybody's having a day today, October the 27th, 2017. After looking at the clarion far, you know, in the head of gold, it's time for a word, you know, about Halloween. And I'll just read this. Deuteronomy 18, verse 9. When you are come into the land which the Lord your God gives you, you shall not learn to do after the abominations of those nations, talking about the heathen nations, the other ones. Verse 10, There shall not be a found among you any one who makes his son or daughter to pass through the fire. They would like to sacrifice the children and things like that, pass through the fire. Or who uses divination or an observer of time, an enchanter, or a witch. Verse 11, or a charmer or consulter with familiar spirits or a wizard or a necromancer. Somebody that to either conjure up or worship the dead is what a necromancer means. For all those who do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord your God does drive them out from before you. 13, you shall be perfect with the Lord your God means that just to know there's no other God besides him. He's the only one. You know the most high. 14, for these nations which you shall possess, hearkened unto the observers of times and unto diviners. But as for you, the Lord your God has not suffered you to do so, or the Lord doesn't have any pleasure in that. That's a Halloween message. And there's another one. About the idols of Babylon, what it came to. In Isaiah 46, Bel bows down, Nebo, Nebo stoops, their idols were upon the beasts and upon the cattle. Your carriages were heavy laden, and they are a burden to weary the beast. Meaning that the Babylonian burden is very heavy on the heart, and it does weary. They stoop down, they bow down together. They could not deliver the burden, but themselves are gone into captivity. Heavy spiritual burden, your mind can't think clear because it's bound up, you know, under all of that stuff, and it came to this. Verse 11, calling a ravenous bird from the east. And birds are usually devils, and sin lets the devil in to devour everything. And Babylon, you know, is getting quite a bit of that. And I'm just pointing that out, a ravenous bird. And that's Isaiah 46, 11. Let's go to 47, verse 3. Your nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, your shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet you as a man. And basically, this is a judgment on Babylon. Some more of it that's written about in God's Word. And they can be weather and all sorts of other things. You know, which is not a man. You know, think like children. For as for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, His name, the Holy One of Israel, and that's the God of all who are saved. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, referring to Babylon and you get into darkness, you get into hell, and into the nighttime. 
for you shall no more be called the lady of the kingdoms. Well, that lady stands on a pedestal up there at New York. And six, I was wroth with my people having polluted my inheritance and giving them into your hand. You did show them no mercy. Upon the ancient, you have very heavily laid your yoke. Meaning that it was not grace, that it was legalism and being judged for not keeping the law, which I experienced, and it was awful. Verse 7, And you have said, I shall be a lady forever, so that you did not lay these things to your heart, neither did you remember the latter end of it, and... America is so proud she doesn't believe at this time anything can bring her down. She doesn't believe she needs God. She doesn't believe she needs Jesus to be saved. Doesn't believe that she needs his shed blood to be saved. And sadly, a lot of them don't even believe they're sinned. And America is very deceived and very proud and is boasted against the Lord. And I'm just telling the truth about it. Verse 8, there, Therefore now hear this, you who are given to pleasures, who dwells carelessly, who says in your heart, I am nothing else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. You know, you bear children, while well, in a spiritual sense, like if you're a child or something, it's like, what do you like, like to do and how do you spread it around? You know, your children, it's a picture of that. But these two things shall come to you in a moment, and one day, the loss of children. Sadly, in this case, the children of pride. The loss of children and widowhood, meaning America will be estranged, because Babylon's estranged. And they shall come upon you in their perfection, for the multitude of your sorceries and for the great abundance of your enchantments. Meaning pleasures and things to go out to do and plenty of things to occupy the mind with besides God which should be first. And I've sinned myself and hadn't always done that. And I admit to deserving judgment myself. And Number 10, for you have trusted in your wickedness. And you have said, none sees me. Your wisdom and your knowledge, it has perverted you. And you have said in your heart, I am and none else beside me. America thinks all this is hidden and that God doesn't see it. And it's all written down in books up there. He's seen everything. Everything's found out. Nothing's hidden from the Most High God. And... It's all in this book. Verse 11, Therefore shall evil come upon you, and you shall not know from whence it rises. As a storm, Babylon's not expecting, nor does she see coming. And mischief shall fall upon you, and you shall not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon you suddenly, which you shall not know. And... Sadly, you know, that's a fierce windstorm and war will come suddenly. And Babylon is not expecting war. It's expecting peace and prosperity. Twelve, stand now with your enchantments and with a multitude of your sorceries, wherein you have labored from your youth. You know, work, work for, you know, laid up treasures here you know, from their youth and not laid them up in heaven. And you know, they are here, you know, for a moment and then perish. You know, because they weren't treasures laid up in heaven. And it said, if so be, you shall be able to profit. If so be, you may prevail. And 13, you're wearied in the multitude of your counsels. You know, trying to figure things out and reasoning as counsels and 
It says, let now the astrologers, stargazers, and monthly prognosticators stand up and save you from these things which shall come, you know, come upon you. Behold, they shall be as, as the stubble. The fire does burn them, and they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. And there shall not be a cold to warm at, nor a fire to sit at. It means a very destructive fire and not one to warm up by. And just, just look at the million dollar hell that just, or the billion dollar hell that just went on in California. You know, the Golden State, the head of gold. Thus shall they be unto you with whom you have labored, even your merchants from their youth. They shall wander every one to his quarter, and none shall save you. If it's not Jesus and his shed blood, it's not salvation. That's what that is. Doesn't matter what quarter you go to. That's the only way to get out of Babylon. And I'm saying the signs are there. And that's a billion dollar hell, and I think it was a billion dollar Harvey, and and having a lot of billion dollar disasters. I'm saying God's trying to wake America up, who is a hundred percent mystery Babylon. So that's Isaiah 47. She'll come and sit down in the dust. Oh, virgin daughter, you know, who is mystery Babylon. Sadly, that's America. And again, Ophelia went right to the source and the root. And that was a betrayal and madness, you know, in, in Shakespeare's Hamlet. And that simply means a British town without a church. America doesn't have a real church anymore, sadly. And, you know, Ophelia went right up there to Great Britain and pointed that out for us and Ophelia was madness and America is mad upon her idols right now. Her idols are not working. She's too proud to admit it and I pray that they'll surrender and choose Jesus Christ because the next step is Ezekiel 32 where the nations join each other in hell and I'm just telling the truth and I certainly don't want to go to hell I know I deserve to go to hell but I don't want to go to hell and Jesus is the only way to stay out of hell and I don't have it all together and still to this day I deserve to go to hell and I'm being honest with you because there's nothing perfect about me and just remember Deuteronomy 18:11. No necromancer and none of that. That's a Halloween word. I hope everybody has a blessed day. I'm just told the truth.